Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 82. That is, what is DOR in Agile Scrum? Let me answer. DOR stands for definition of ready. But what exactly is this definition of ready? To understand what exactly is this definition of ready, you should have some basic knowledge about Agile. Okay. Let me give you the basic knowledge of Agile that is required for understanding DOR. So first of all, what is Agile? So there are several SDLC models, okay? For developing the software, for producing the software, there are several SDLC models. Agile is one of the SDLC model, okay? Apart from Agile, we have Waterfall model, V model, RAD model, and so on. Agile is one of the SDLC model we have. So this Agile SDLC model has a lot of methodologies, okay? A lot of frameworks or methodologies. One of the methodology we have is a scrum methodology. So in scrum methodology, how the work will go on? You see the work will happen in the scrum methodology in the form of sprints, okay? Sprint means iteration. After first iteration is done, then second iteration, okay? This is all about scrum, guys. Whatever I'm explaining is all about scrum, okay? So the first iteration, second iteration, like that the work will keep on happening in the case of scrum, fine? So what is work here? But what exactly is work? Who is going to work on this uh, in the sprints? Here, there will be something known as agile team. Okay, we have agile team in the Scrum. In the Scrum, there will be something known as sprints. Okay, this sprint one means iteration one. Sprint two. So work will be done in multiple sprints. Each and every sprint or iteration will be having a duration of one to four weeks. So who will be who will be working in the sprints? Who will be working in this multiple iterations? Agile team will be working in multiple iterations. So agile team means what? The developers and testers, right? Dev team and testing team are going to start working here and complete their work assigned for this particular iteration of sprint by the end of the sprint, okay? Whatever the work that is assigned in the beginning of the sprint, the agile team that is dev team and testing team has to complete by the end of the sprint. So to start working for this particular agile team, for, the, for this particular development and testing team to start working on their work, and finish them by the end of the sprint, the work should be there now, okay? The work should be ready, okay? So can we start working? Do we have all the necessary things to start working on the things? For example, if you ask some person to construct a building, can the person uh, directly construct the building? No, the person has to see whether all the necessary things are there for building or constructing the building. So is a uh, sand available, okay? Are the bricks available? Okay, all the construction material available for this particular to start building it, start constructing the building, all the necessary items should be there, right? Then only they can start working. Here also, for this agile team to start working, what the agile team that is dev and testing team will start working in the sprints, they work on the user stories. Here work is nothing but here material for constructing the building, here material for constructing the building, right? Here material is nothing but user stories. Okay, the required small chunks of requirements. User stories are nothing but the requirements. So if these user stories are ready, then only the dev team and testing team, that is agile team can start working, right? So when we can say that user stories are ready, if user stories are ready, we can say DOR, okay? DOR means definition of ready. That is user stories are ready for starting working, okay? For the de development and testing team to start working uh, for the sprint, the user stories need to be ready. So when user story is ready, we can say DOR status as fine, okay? DOR, definition of ready. User story, definition of ready. Is it ready or not? If it is ready, then the agile team can start working on the user stories. When we can say that the user stories are ready for the agile team to start working on the sprint. Start working on these user stories in the sprint. When we can say these user stories are ready, the criteria for DOR for the user stories is Acceptance criteria for the user story is properly defined. Okay, who will write the acceptance criteria for the user story? Product owner will write the product owner will create the acceptance criteria for the user story. Okay, is it properly written by the product owner or not? Okay, if the acceptance criteria is not mentioned for the user story, that means user story is not DOR. Okay, it's not ready to start working for the development and testing to, to start working. The user story is not ready. So, user story has clear business value. Okay. So not not just writing the acceptance criteria, guys. Uh, 
product owner has to make sure that uh, the particular story has a proper business value okay then it is estimated well the user story need to be estimated well then all dependencies for the user story are, are identified and uh, mentioned in that particular user story by the product owner all this need to be there in the user story then only we can say that dor for the user story okay the user story is ready for start working on okay definition of ready user story is understood by the team not just writing is uh, the whenever the agile team uh, goes through this uh, acceptance criteria or whatever the details provided by the product owner in the user story the agile team need to understand without understanding how can they start working right so only when the user stories are ready for working we can say dor definition of ready so hope guys you got an idea what exactly is dor dor means definition of ready whether the user stories are ready to start working in the sprint or not by the agile team is known as dor in simple words so that's all for this session in the next session i am going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye